Hi, this is Cameron, and what you're looking at here is a slide deck that contains a list of unusual maps. And uh, what's really going on here is that we often have different combinations of players with different skill levels. So for instance, one pro or two mid-tier players, or probably what is a better example, is uh, five players. So three pros and two mid-tier players. And what ends up happening is that um, people always pick terraces and then they put three pro players in with the better of the two mid-tier players and get the other one to spec. Uh, and, the, and the teams are unbalanced. And nine times out of ten, it becomes a miserable game because the mid-tier player just can't keep up with the two pro players. And it's very uh, frustrating for everyone. For the mid-tier player, they feel like they've let everyone down. For their ally, um, they're getting frustrated because they're getting doubled. Um, and for the other two pro players that are allied, they feel like the game is too easy. And it's frustrating. And if the mid-tier player is doing everything that they should be doing and not doing anything stupid like building disruptors or one refing or whatever it might be, you know, they're building titans and bombers and they're expanding and following instructions. There's no reason that that combination of players can't have a really good game. And, um, you know, just terraces may not be the map to do it. So, and of course, there's only so far a map can go to provide a balanced environment. But I think that terraces really just isn't providing that environment. So, I mean, even a map that's a three versus two, for instance, two pros versus one pro and two mid-tier players, where the map is designed to provide advantages to um, these two pros to sort of counter out the fat, counteract the fact that there is two mid-tier players that really can send a lot of shit at them, particularly in the beginning. Um, so that's the objective, to, to reduce the amount of frustration and also to provide... Um, you know, map combinations or uh, or maps that can, you know, facilitate suitable play between even three players instead of waiting in a room for half an hour for someone who never comes, which can be uh, really frustrating. So you can actually have a meaningful game. And I've actually played on that map, right? And I've played against two players that are well below my skill level, but just the amount of shit that they can send at you really can... Um, cause you to think and think about how you play and and it also encourages these two mid-tier players to think about how they coordinate things together and so and how they manage their uh, bo's and you know so they can actually you know their build orders or how they expand out so you know you can actually have more meaningful games than um, just trying to do one versus one on terrace or you know uh, two versus two on terrace as i said with that that combination and you can see that i've um grayed out these ones because everyone knows about these maps it's been around long enough it's really these ones that have been highlighted that if you get these combinations of players that it's just not suitable it's um or you've got to compromise and and put too many people on spec or whatever it might be so that's the objective of uh this slide deck is to provide some alternatives uh for people to play um and even you know a one versus two uh two two pros versus one pro really giving a weighted advantage to to that other um pro player and i'm not saying it's easy to build maps like this or they're going to be perfect um, but it does provide a, a good alternative other than sitting in a game room waiting for people to join when there's just no one around okay so um this is the slide deck uh, what i'll do now is i'll show you an example map um, that exists because these other ones don't currently exist which is to me very surprising that um you know, no one's attempted to build a map that's balanced and that can really facilitate things. And then hopefully in a second we'll talk about um, progressive handicap maps if I do remember to come back to that. So if you open up the Bottleneck Valley link, you'll come to this map, which is one that I built. And there's uh, three slides, one, two, and three. This has basically just uh, map links and to do if people are interested to download and contribute and, and then to um, send this map back to me so I can um, re-upload it or maybe even their own variation of this map so that you can fork the design and, and maybe repair things where there's contention between the map builders and actually provide an alternative to people that feel like it's not balanced but um, basically you have a page like this that shows the positions and also the ways to scout or ground attacks the pathways and uh so, you know, it's better than trying to load up the map and play it once. You can actually look at it, analyze it, and really figure out how you're going to play this map um, and see the positions and also the pathways that you can get through quite easily. So um, I think it's an interesting way of looking at maps and, it, you know, really this issue of three pro players and one mid-tier player always playing terraces is just crazy to me and there should be a way to balance things out and I think, you know, or even just open up more play styles it could be engaging and interesting. You know, obviously on this map, which I've created other videos about, 
Um, these bottlenecks here really provide advantage to the top right position. Um, you know, being able to withstand siege through, you know, two tib trees and a blue tib section if they're getting constantly pounded by um, ground units, as opposed to having their expansion ripped apart by two, you know, economically advantaged um, players is um, is part of the map design and it's supposed to counteract that that natural imbalance. So, um, you know, you can definitely build maps like this. This one needs a bit of work. Um, it needs to be expanded out because it's too small at the moment. Um, but, you know, building maps, and I think one of them, as I said, that's going to be really interesting could be this three versus two. And I'd love to see that if you could get two pros playing on the same team and two mid-tier and one pro, that could be such an interesting environment to play in instead of always playing on terrace play something where there's just a, there's just a different dynamic approach to it you know and making simple maps that are easy to understand instead of really uh, difficult to scout and difficult to learn maps and providing these you know slide decks that actually do pro, you know give some context and information about how the map works um, could be really interesting um, anyway so that's that's it there um, the only other thing I'd say is pro, uh, progressive handicap maps uh, and the idea is that for each map that um, is built here there should be uh, two to three versions with minor changes that provide additional or reduced handicap to better match the player composition so when I say pro or mid tier there's no real recognized standard for that and if there's a substantial gap or even or maybe even more like a narrow gap between these players uh, it should be good to have like a handicap one handicap two handicap three so that if you win a match um, you can apply the handicap to the other person and actually um, move up or down in that scale in terms of handicap and and that way that you know because no map's going to be perfectly fitted for um, you know one pro or two mid-tier players but the maps should look the same but it's just taking out things like blue tip um, adding or removing a starter half and you can actually see on this map that this one the top right position also has a starter half apart from blue tiberium so you could actually remove that to handicap or advantage the um, two mid-tier players if the um, top right position was really strong and they you know were playing um, really well against these two two other players so yeah, I think it's an interesting little project. If you're interested to contribute, um, you're welcome to contact me. I've also got a link to um, instructional videos here, which is basically the stuff that Holland put together, and hopefully over time people will contribute to that as well. So if you are interested to build maps, um, that's a really good resource to uh, have everything in one place instead of looking through forums, uh, which can be frustrating. It's um, really good to have stuff like that. Anyway, I hope it's useful. I'd love to see, as I said, I'd really like to see um, this map or even this one. You know, just having that extra player in the mix um, could be could be really fun. You know, and it's definitely better than trying to play forest fires with this combination of players. If you could build something that you know has these design elements to it that are you know factored in to really balance out the skill levels, I think it could be a much more engaging and interesting uh, match for everyone involved.